Charlie Yoshi here, and today I'm bringing you another Elgato HD60 tutorial. But this time it has to do with Windows 7 and not working. There are two methods you can do. First, you're going to need the capture card. Second, you're just going to need to get 7-zip. We're just going to go 7-zip, download, and we're going to download it for, you know, any one of these. So download. I have seen four. We'll download. And now we have seven zip. Now we have seven zip. And now you're going to install seven zip. And next you're going to make a new folder. You could call it whatever you want. We're gonna call it Windows Seven Elgato. Then you're going to take this thing after you install seven zip and you're going to extract it here. Next, you're going to just click it and you're going to scroll down until you find this. This is the drivers for the Elgato um, if, that we were working on. And then you just scroll down and there's the game capture thing and you just click that. And then it'll bring up the thing. But if you don't want to do all that hassle, there you go. Then you just go to back to the uh, Elgato support and then you go to Elgato system gaming and then we're going to scroll down to the same area that we were in before which is here and then we're going to right here and then we're going to click that and then we're, instead if you're still using Windows 7 you click that and that'll download the Windows 7 uh, one but if um, you don't want to use that you can still use the newer one as for the drivers for the Elgato for Windows 7, you just click here and scroll down. And then right here, this is where you get those drivers. And we'll download the Windows 10 drivers as well. Okay, so now we have that one, that one, and that one. Oh, they have a one because I. <laughs> second time making this. Okay, so here's. Uh, the newer version of this and here's the older version and then so if we make older if we do the same thing here and there you go almost got space and the same thing but this one has the HDS thing inside here over the other one and then we scroll down and the same thing but Windows uh, 10 this would be the Windows oh, wait, wait. see so what were your name so no we don't name it. this is the Windows 7 version one it has the smaller version and then this is the Windows 10 one so we'll just call it Windows 10 <laughs> and then if we do the same thing here and then this is for Windows 7 not very, not very different at all but so you guys can see the difference I decided to name it <laughs> well that one has 7.1 in there and that one has a 10 underscore but same thing you just double click it and then it'll prompt you to install it and there you go that should solve that problem. Uh, either or, any method like that will do what you need to do. Um, now, if it's still not working, that means that you're not using a 3.10 uh, USB port in the back of your PC. That your board just, just doesn't support it. Um, and if you don't have that, it's not going to detect it. That'd be the only thing. But before you install, when you before you install the older versions, you really want to make sure you go back into here. And if it did find it and install anything, make sure you uninstall anything here as well. Still, and uninstall your older version of the other thing as well. So make sure you go back in here and still remove that one as well. 
But yeah, that should solve the problem um, for Windows for Windows 7. And if it doesn't work, and you want me to show you on a Windows 7, I will make I will install a virtual Windows 7, and I will um, show you that these methods do work and how to get them to work with the Windows 7. I don't use Windows 7. Windows 10 is better for uh, for gaming in general. It makes games run smoother in my opinion but Windows 10 does use more power on your PC. Uh, more memory and stuff like that. It's got more going on but it still offers more. So I, I switched to Windows 10 even though I despise it. So if that's something you guys want, please just let me know, and I will do it. I will make it happen for you guys. Well, uh, for now, Toriyoshi's out.